and Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices trade into the upside. The Dow's up 310 points. That's less than 1%. A little over 1% for the S&P, or 47 points. And NASDAQ, 1.5%, 209 points. Russell's up a little over 2%. That's 41 points. Semi's up 127. That's nearly 4% to the upside. You've got gold trading out at 1850. That's off 17 bucks, less than one, just less than 1%. Silver's down two and a quarter. Quarter percent, fifty-three pennies trading out at twenty-three thirty-one. Lights we crude off three dollars and fifty-nine cents. She's trading at ninety-one eighty-seven. Let's go spend a little time with our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. So the ES mini, as we speak right now, is trading about forty-four twenty-seven fifty. Why is 44.2750? Because that's the swing point that's out there. And if you can close above it today, assuming that it's got light volume, and we can take a look at the spies to make that determination, that would be a rejection of that swing point and suggest then to move higher to the 4570-ish type area. Of course, if that's going to happen, you need to see the spot volatility, which generated a little uh, shooting, uh, bearish shooting star candle yesterday. We are having follow through. So now the yellow line represents the 50 to 1 Bollinger Band reading. I'd say if price gets below 26, 22 odds favor, a move to 2285. That's the 50 day exponents moving average. The NQ, not as strong as the ES Mini. And what I mean by that is price has not been able to close above, even trade above, uh, the high from uh, Monday the uh, 24th. 14,582 is the number there. So that's what you need to see a close above to then suggest, okay, I'm going to make a move higher. And then move higher could be 14,874 or even... 15,773, the top of a new weekly profile that is attempting to form. I say attempting because that's what it's trying to do. We won't have confirmation until Sunday evening. The U.S. dollar index just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Gold finding resistance at a prior swing point. It formed a TD9 count yesterday. Right now, price is pulling back and testing that descending trend line that price has broken through. So if it holds that descending trend line, that's going to make you say, hmm, something to think about. In the case of silver, she's just consolidating with inside its daily profile resistance at 2392, support at 2288. Lights recruit, even though it's back three bucks, it's still trading above the top of its daily profile. That's at 91.12. It's, uh, it's, I believe it has a... Uh, topic signal out there but trading above the top of your daily profile would mean that it's a neutral signal folks stay tuned for the trader Z show but if you're off to start your tuesday have a terrific one thanks so much for joining us we'll look forward to seeing you again soon